Hi, my name is Bart Polson, and I want to show you how to do your first assignment for this class by setting up a Google Docs account. The first thing that you need to do is get on the web and go to Google Docs. If you just type in docs.google.com, you'll get to this website. You can also do google.com slash docs, but you'll get there. Now, if you have a Gmail account already, then you're all set. You've got it already, even if you haven't used it. You don't have to have a Gmail account. You don't have to have a Google account. Uh, you just have to register your email, although we seem to find that having a Gmail account makes things work better. If you don't have a Gmail account, you click down here to create an account now, and you just register your email. Otherwise, uh, if you do have a Gmail account or if you're already created one, you can just log in. By the way, if you have a Gmail account, you don't have to type the at gmail.com part. That's uh, implied. And uh, just sign in here. And this is the Google Docs page. Now, if you've got Gmail, normally you would be going to this one. But if you just come, this little set of things appears above the uh, top of all of these pages. So if you just go to Gmail, you'll see Gmail, Calendar, then Docs right here. Documents, that's this one. This is an online word processor, spreadsheet, presentation software, drawing, forms, and, and so on. It's free, and it's a really a fabulous way of collaborating. For your first assignment, though, what I need you to do is to create a collection share that collection and create a document, put it into the collection and share it with me and work with comments. And this is how you do it. A collection is the same thing as a folder or a tag. So I've got collections here for my various classes. Here's my intro site class and I've got information right there. Uh, what you need to do is you need to come up here to create new and click on collection. It used to be called folders. You click on that and then for this assignment, what I want you to do is to type in the number of your class. So if you're in my experimental psychology class, it's 4010, space, dash, space, and then your last name. My last name is Polson, so I put that. And that will create the new folder by that name. I press OK. And you see it showed up right here, 4010 Polson. If you want to change the color, you can see these are all in different colors. You can just click on this little uh, triangle right here and to change color and make it, you know, something like purple is nice. Anyhow, I have a folder here. Now, the, the great thing to do here is to be able to share folders, and this is what I want you to do. You need to share your folder with me. And you do that by selecting this folder and then coming over to this little triangle, clicking on that, and going up to Share, and then Sharing Settings. And you click on that, and then this little window pops up, and this will have your uh, address, your name right here, and then you type in my address. Now, my address is bartonpolson at gmail.com, right? There it is. Just make sure it says can edit because I need to be able to write stuff on it. And then uh, when you're done, you can press share and that'll send it to me. Now, I don't need to share this with myself, so I'm just going to press cancel. But that, and then press close. And that would share it with me. So now, Anything that is put into that folder is automatically shared. Um, so if you're sharing with a group of other people in the class, you don't have to share individual files. You just stick them into the folder and everybody has access to it. It's a beautiful thing. Now what I want you to do is to put a document into that uh, folder. There's two ways to do that. Number one is to create a document by coming right back up to here to create new. And we'll do a new document. Okay. It's a document, looks like a spread, or excuse me, word processor. Uh, right here it says untitled document. Let's fix that right now. Just click on that. And what I want you to do is this. I want you to call it by the name of your class, in this case 4010, and then hello from, and then your last name. So hello from Polson. And then, so that's what it's called now. And you watch see over here is it saves it automatically. So it just saved it. And I'm going to call the document, hello from Polson. Oops, I need to put 4010 in the beginning. 4010, hello from Polson. Um, and for right now, that's adequate. Um, now I'm going to put, this is a line of text. That's all I want. You see, it's going to save here in just a second. Okay, good. So this is a document, and I can close it. And if I come back here, you see the document is shown up. And the nice thing is, because this folder was selected when I created it, 
it put it into that folder. Another way to create a document within a folder is to click on the folder and then click on this thing and you put create new from there and it will automatically go into that folder. Now if the document ended up somewhere else all you gotta do is I'll go back to here for instance and you know here's a syllabus for my class I can you can just select the document and you can grab it and drag it into the folder and then it will become part of that one. Anyhow it's a pretty slick system. Now once you've created that document I'm gonna go back to that one so you've created, you've got a Google account, you've created a collection, you've titled it for uh, the, the number of your class and your last name, you've shared it with me at bartonpolson at gmail.com, you've put a document in there that has the name of the class and hello from your last name, and when you click on that document, you got just a little bit of text in there, that's all good. What I need you to do next is I need you to be able to edit uh, the documents and make comments. Here's what you do. You select some text right here. Oh, by the way, if you want to make this look like a heading, you can do that. I just double clicked on it to select the whole thing. You go to Format, Paragraph Styles, Heading 1. Ta da! Now it's bigger. But we're going to put a comment in the document. This is one of the great things about Google Docs. So I'm going to highlight some text where I want to put a comment. I've got that. I go up to Insert and then I am coming to comment right here. It also has a keyboard control on my Mac, it's um, Command Option M. And look, it's got a little picture of me because that's what's on my Google account and I can just write, this is a comment. And then I post it. And now that shows up right there. And so you can click on this, it that comes up. You can click on that, it shows up where it comes from. And the nice thing about this is you can actually have what's called an entire discussion. You see we got this thing here that says discussions. So for instance, here's a comment and I can put this is a response. So if you read my comment, you can reply to it this way. And look, and then you can have this whole discussion this way. If you have a particular, if it's a problem people need to work on, you can then resolve it. You can also uh, just get rid of the whole thing by clicking on delete. Um, but anyhow, the nice thing here is you can follow along on the comments, and this is how I give feedback on papers, and so I want you to be able to do this. Anyhow, so that's that, and you see that it's saved, so we can close the document, and if I come right back here, you see you can click on it, and it opens back up with the comments right there, and then you can reply to those things. If you want to get rid of the comment, all you got to do is click on it, and press delete, delete the comment thread. Yeah, that means get rid of all of them, yes. So now that's done. Now there's one more thing I want you to do. I'm gonna put a comment on your paper that says I got it, and then I want you to unshare it with me so I don't get clogged up with too much stuff. Here's what you do. You go back to the folder that you created, right here. By the way, if you have a group of people you're working with and you shared a folder with them, this is a nice thing, you just go to share, I clicked on it, you go to, you can do email editors, and this sends an email out to everybody that you share it with. It's, it's pretty sweet. You can also, to unshare something, you go to share, sharing settings. Now, don't do this right away. You've got to wait until I send you a comment to ask you to do this. But you see this one? You'll have something, and you'll have the option of clicking on a little X and getting rid of a person who it's shared with. Um, I think that's all we need for right now. Anyhow, um, Thanks. Bye-bye.